As promised, Houston police made their presence known overnight in the third ward. Yeah, neighbors are fed up with crime and they finally got the attention of the city's police chief. ABC 13's Rosie Wen is live at HPD headquarters. And Rosie, there was still a shooting in the neighborhood despite all of this increased patrol. Is that right? Yes, that's right, Brandon and Charlie, and that's exactly why people living in Third Ward voiced their concerns about the high crime rates in their area to law enforcement during a community meeting last Thursday. Just last night around 1130, we're told two men were dropping off somebody on Rosalie and Milby when a stranger allegedly got into their car and began smoking a cigarette. They told the stranger to get out, which he did, but he allegedly came back and shot at the car at least three times. We're told the driver was hit in the chest and limbs. He's at the hospital right now in serious condition. Investigators were able to find the suspect and arrest him, also confiscating two guns. Here is HPD Chief Troy Finner speaking last night before joining his officers on patrol for the night. You think that we just gonna stand by and let you drive down the streets shooting guns, discharging weapons and shooting at people. We're not gonna tolerate that. Um, I've been very successful, and not just me, my entire team. Uh, when I step and when we step our, foot, our feet into a particular neighborhood, we have good results. According to HPD Commander Wynn, they confiscated at least three assault rifles and three pistols from the streets. He says they've made multiple traffic stops and issued 20 parking tickets, towed six cars, and cited people for other violations. Now, community members say that they would like to see other measures happen in their neighborhoods, aside from just the increased patrols from law enforcement. They would also like to see more surveillance cameras installed on certain streets, as well as noise meters at the nearby by bars and clubs. We are told that city leaders are working together to discuss possible funding for these measures. Reporting live from HPD headquarters, Rosie Wynn, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.